Hey folks, uh, Tuesday morning, little coffee review time. Uh, this coffee is from Death Wish Coffee, so they do like the world's strongest coffee, or that's that's how they market themselves. Um, this is Dark Spirits, uh, barrel aged chocolate rum ball. So it's flavored. It says flavored, but it also just says aged in rum barrels and cast into flames to awaken the spirit within. Meet rum barrel aged rum ball. This medium roasted coffee possesses the power to transport terrestrial beings into an otherworldly realm filled with flavors of smooth rum, sweet vanilla, and chocolate. So I don't know. If it says flavored, if it's saying it's flavored from the barrel or if it's flavored in with the chocolate and stuff, um, I don't know. Uh, Fair Trade Coffee, I don't know where they're from. Death Wish, I don't, I don't know, here we go, Round Lake, New York. Cool. Um, and I have my brand new, well, not brand new, it's a couple months old. I, I've used these... Not doing coffee reviews, but I love them. Mike got me these for Christmas. Uh, he showed a picture on the Nerd Sense Holly special. He brought them over. I think New Year's Eve was when they came in. They came in late. Um, Fellow, they're coffee tasters. It's supposed to like designed to draw the contents of the, to the entire palate, so you can taste a full spectrum of everything. So like, I haven't tried beer out of this yet, but I feel like that could be a good idea for beer. But also, like this lip here kind of reminds me of like uh, like the, the Tiku lip or the lip on the uh, Perfect Pine Class from um, some amount of Anyways, enough talk. Also, now you can get a full color. It looks brown. Um, yeah, it's brown, it's murky. Uh, let's get a nose. <sighs> Chocolate cherry cordial. Oh, I made this with um, my oil press. And so like medium fine grind. 109 degree water. Yeah, chocolate cherry cordial. In the bag itself, I mean, if I smell the bag, not the bag, the actual beans. It's much more pronounced coffee rum characteristics, right? It's, a, it's coffee. Uh, but yeah, and here is just chocolate cherry cordial. Anyways, cheers. You got a slurp too. First time having this, a little, le little less water next time, but what I like about rum barrel aged coffee is like I'm not a big flavored coffee person um my wife is so, so she has we have I don't know, peppermint we have french vanilla upstairs we have maple pecan we have um some waffle one um i'll drink them occasionally if that's like all that's in the house or she made a pot and i'm like oh, i'm too lazy to make a pot i don't have any cold brew um what i like about the barrel aged coffees you get a little bit of that of that flavored characteristic but it's not overpowering whereas with those they're like it's like man this is vanilla and it's like where's the coffee um this has that nice barrel character that nice little um, it has a nice level of, uh, of acidity. It has that level of sweetness. There is a little bit of vanilla in there and the way that there is, and the coffee still, the coffee is still prominent. It, it's, it's there through and through, through like the midline of the palate. Um, but the, but the barrels there. So if you're having like a rum barrel aged out or a rum barrel aged, um, um, quad or, or, or what have you, you're going to get that little bit of tickle of, of booze. Um, but it's not it's not overpowering, but but it's adding a little bit to the coffee flavor and not kind of like in your face like a Starbucks or a Dunkin's flavored um, pre ground coffee. Uh, it's really good, and as I'm talking, it still has that 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 nice roastiness, but it's like a velvety chocolateiness. So it's it's very smooth. It's very smooth drinking. But I think I would do a little less water next time. I may even try to grind this into an espresso grind and put it in my um, my my mocha pot. Um, but yeah, it's, it was eight ounces. So I don't know if I put, start putting this in giant batches. It's definitely carry one like this. So unless I'm drinking multiple cups, um, a day, which lately I've only been doing a, a cup, maybe two. Um, I've been switching to tea, so it's kind of like a, a middle ground. But anyways, before I ramble enough, this is really good. Um, if you like, if you like death wish coffee and you like barrel aged coffees, um, I, I would recommend this. I, I would say this is, a. I mean, if you like chocolate and you don't want an overpowered flavored coffee, this is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go. Finish this before I have my first meeting um, and uh, watch the latest episode of Last of Us, episode four. And um, thanks everybody for watching. Down in the comments, if you had this, have you had any other, what, what are some of your other favorite like barrel aged coffees? Um, and yeah, nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are things, like, comment, subscribe, notification bells, so you know how we post new videos. Most importantly, thank you everybody for watching. I'm Sean, this is Nerd Sense. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>